the tragic end of the Romanov dynasty. The House of Romanov was the reigning imperial house of Russia from 1613 to 1917. They achieved prominence after Anastasia Romanovna married Ivan the Terrible, the first crowned czar of all Russia. Nicholas II and his immediate family were executed in 1918, but there are still living descendants. Origins to 18th century. The Romanovs share their origin with other Russian noble families, tracing back to Andrei Kobila in 1347. There are different theories about their ancestry, but it may have been more ordinary. One of Kobila's sons, Feodor, had descendants who adopted the name Romanov. They also had a connection to the Rurik dynasty through Feodor's mother, Evdokia Gorbataya Shuiskaya. Michael Romanov I is a ninth generation descendant with a link to Dmitry Konstantinovich. Rise to power. The Romanovs traced their lineage to the ancient principality of Moscow and were descended from the Rurik dynasty, which had ruled Russia for centuries. However, by the late 16th century, their family had lost much of its prominence, and they were considered a minor branch of the Russian nobility. The Romanovs' initial obscurity was in stark contrast to their later exalted status. In the early 17th century, Russia was in a state of crisis known as the Time of Troubles, following the death of the childless Ivan the Terrible and the subsequent political instability. A council of Russian nobles was convened to elect a new czar who could restore order. In 1613, at the young age of 16, Mikhail Romanov was chosen to be the czar, marking the beginning of the Romanov dynasty's rule. Mikhail Romanov's early years as czar were marked by significant challenges. The country was in disarray, and his rule had to navigate a precarious political landscape. He and his advisors worked diligently to restore order, stabilize the economy, and maintain unity within the realm. Mikhail's reign was followed by his son, Alexei Mikhailovich, who further solidified the Romanov dynasty's hold on power. During this period, Russia began to develop a more centralized state structure, and efforts were made to modernize the Russian military and administration. Mikhail emphasized the importance of loyalty to the state and established the Romanov family as Russia's ruling dynasty. The Zemsky Sobor, the advisory assembly, played a crucial role in this process, helping to legitimize Romanov rule. Dynastic Crisis Mikhail was succeeded by his son, Alexei, who ruled calmly through challenging times. After Alexei's death, a dynastic struggle unfolded between his children from his first wife and his son with his second wife, Peter the Great. Peter expanded Russia's influence in Europe and modernized the country. Following Peter's death, a series of dynastic conflicts occurred. His only surviving adult son, Tsarevich Alexei, didn't support Peter's reforms and died in prison. Peter altered the succession tradition, passing power to his second wife, Empress Catherine, who ruled briefly. Afterward, Peter II briefly held the throne, but his death marked the end of the Romanov male line. Anna I succeeded Peter II and designated her grandnephew, Ivan VI, as her successor, aiming to secure her father's line. However, Ivan's reign was short-lived as he was overthrown by Elizabeth Petrovna, Peter the Great's legitimate daughter. Ivan and his parents later died in prison. House of Holstein Gottorp Romanov. The Holstein Gottorps of Russia, who were descended from Peter the Great through Anna Petrovna, maintained the Romanov surname. Empress Elizabeth of Russia appointed Anna's son, Peter of Holstein Gottorp, as her heir in 1742. He married a German princess named Sophia, who became Catherine the Great after Elizabeth's death in 1762. Catherine's son, Paul I, was proud of his connection to Peter the Great, but there were rumors about his true paternity. To prevent succession disputes, Paul enacted the strict Pauline laws, which regulated the Romanov succession based on semi-solic primogeniture, required orthodox faith for rulers, and demanded consorts of monarchs and their heirs to have equal royal birth. Alexander I later added the requirement of equal birth for consorts of all Russian dynasts in the male line, in response to a morganatic marriage in 1820. Age of Autocracy 
Paul I, was assassinated in his palace in St. Petersburg in 1801, leading to Alexander I succeeding him as the Russian emperor. However, Alexander faced a turbulent succession due to confusion and opposition, which led to the Decembrist Revolt in 1825. Nicholas I eventually took the throne. He was a popular ruler who developed the Russian military, granted autonomy to Finland, and abolished serfdom in 1861. Despite his popularity, Nicholas's family life deteriorated in the mid-1860, marked by the death of his heir, Tsarevich Nicholas, and his controversial relationship with Princess Catherine Dolgorukova. This led to tension within the dynasty. Alexander II succeeded Nicholas, and his reign coincided with the Crimean War. He focused on maintaining peace through a strong Russian military and enacted reforms like freeing the serfs in 1861. Alexander's family faced challenges with his wife, Empress Maria Alexandrovna, suffering from tuberculosis, and his relationship with Princess Catherine Dolgorukova causing controversy. After his wife's death in 1880, he married Catherine morganatically. This created further tensions within the dynasty. Alexander II was assassinated in 1881. The next in line was Alexander III, who implemented conservative reforms in Russia. He was physically imposing and strengthened autocratic rule, undoing some of the liberal reforms of his predecessor. Nicholas II, the son of Alexander III, succeeded his father. He married Alex of Hesse-Darmstadt, a granddaughter of Queen Victoria, and continued his father's harsh policies. Alexandra, Nicholas's wife, was seen as distant and severe, and her close relationship with Rasputin during World War I damaged the dynasty's reputation. Nicholas and Alexandra had four daughters and a son, Alexei, who suffered from hemophilia. The Romanov dynasty's reign included Paul I, Alexander I, Nicholas I, Alexander II, Alexander III, and Nicholas II. Konstantin Pavlovich and Michael Alexandrovich are occasionally counted among Russia's emperors, but they were not crowned and did not effectively rule. Downfall The February Revolution of 1917 led to the abdication of Nicholas II in favor of his brother, Grand Duke Michael Alexandrovich. However, Michael declined to accept imperial authority and deferred it to the provisional government, effectively marking the end of the Romanov dynasty's rule over Russia. Following the February Revolution, Nicholas and his family were confined to house arrest in the Alexander Palace. While some members of the imperial family maintained good relations with the provisional government and eventually left Russia, Nicholas and his family were sent to exile in the Siberian town of Tobolsk by Alexander Kerensky in August 1917. In the October Revolution of 1917, the Bolsheviks overthrew the provisional government. In April 1918, the Romanovs were moved to the Russian town of Yekaterinburg in the Urals, where they were held in the Ipatiev House. Tragically, on the night of 16 the 17th of July 1918, the entire Russian Imperial Romanov family, along with some of their attendants, were executed by Bolshevik revolutionaries, most likely under the orders of Vladimir Lenin. This event marked the end of the Romanov dynasty and had significant historical consequences for Russia. Execution of Tsar and Family On the night of July 16, 1918, Nicholas II, Alexandra, their five children and four servants were ordered to gather in the cellar of the house where they were held in Yekaterinburg. They were told to pose for a photograph to dispel rumors of their escape. However, armed men suddenly entered the room and opened fire, killing the imperial family and their attendants. Some who were still alive after the initial gunfire were stabbed to death. The remains of Nicholas, Alexandra, and three of their children were discovered in 1991 and identified through DNA analysis two years later. Crown Prince Alexei and one Romanov daughter remained unaccounted for, fueling speculation that Anastasia had survived. Several women claiming to be Anastasia emerged in the years following the Russian Revolution, with the most convincing being Anna Anderson, who died in the United States in 1984. However, in 1994, DNA testing conclusively proved that Anna Anderson was not a Romanov, but a Polish woman named Franziska Shanskowska. The murder took place in a dark room filled with smoke and debris, making it difficult for the gunman to see clearly. 
The family members were shot and some were wounded, but they did not die immediately. It was only after the room cleared of smoke that the gunman returned to find some of the family members still alive and they were shot again. Two of the daughters were still alive ten minutes later, so they were bludgeoned with a rifle butt to end their lives. Diamonds sewn into the children's clothing had partially blocked the bullets and bayonet stabs. The Bolsheviks initially attempted to dispose of the bodies by throwing them down a mine shaft, but locals discovered the location, so they changed the disposal site. Burning the corpses proved difficult and time-consuming, so they resorted to disfiguring two of them with acid. In a rush, they threw nine more bodies into a grave and covered them with acid as well. The bodies of the Romanovs were moved and hidden multiple times before being interred in an unmarked pit. In 1979, amateur enthusiasts uncovered and reburied some of the remains, but kept the discovery secret until the fall of communism. In 1991, the grave site was excavated, and the bodies received a state funeral in post-Soviet Russia. DNA and other forensic evidence allowed for accurate identification. The Ipatiev House, where the murders took place, shared a name with the Ipatiev Monastery in Kostroma, where Mikhail Romanov was offered the Russian crown in 1613. A memorial church was constructed on the site of the former Ipatiev House. In 2000, the Russian Orthodox Church proclaimed Nicholas II and his family Passion Bearers, a title for those who died in faith at the hands of murderers, though not as martyrs for their faith. In conclusion, the Romanov dynasty story is a gripping narrative of power, intrigue, and ultimately, tragedy. Their journey from obscurity to ruling Russia, the turbulent times they faced, and their heartbreaking demise in 1918 all contribute to a compelling historical account. The Romanov legacy reminds us of the rise and fall of a family that left an enduring mark on Russia and the world. It's a tale of emperors, revolution, and mystery that continues to captivate our imagination. So, as we reflect on their history, let us remember the Romanovs, a family whose story will forever resonate in the annals of time. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history, and we'll see you in the next video.